Look at this guy. He's not even scared of me. I'm sitting here spraying insecticidal soap to get rid of these spider mites. And this guy just keeps moving around. He doesn't care. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees. Grow some food. Grow something. Let's get started. Good morning, family. I am out here in the garden this morning doing a kind of follow up, a checkup on the garden. I was out here yesterday and I did a complete dusting of diatomaceous earth. I know a lot of people ask, why do you use DE? How do you use DE? What is it for? Well, I started seeing a population growth in the roly polies again. I had gotten them under control and I'm starting to see those again. I'm starting to see little tiny black ants, cabbage worms, and a few leaf footed bugs. And I don't want any of those things in my garden. So yesterday, right before sundown, I came out and I did a complete dusting of the garden with diatomaceous earth. So today I decided I'm gonna do a video explaining exactly what DE is. Most people will say diatomaceous earth, but it's diatomaceous earth. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is, how I use it and where you can get it from. So stay tuned. So of course, as soon as I start recording, <laughs> they start chopping down trees over there. But I'm going to try to soldier through this and hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, I will do a voiceover on this section. But this is diatomaceous earth. So whenever I order or pick up some anywhere, I always try to make sure that I get food grade diatomaceous earth because I am using it out here in the garden, in the vegetable garden. I don't care too much about bugs and things like that being on flowers or trees, you know, too much. I mean, they can take it you know um, but it's the food that I'm trying to preserve now there is diatomaceous earth that is not food grade a lot of people use it especially if you have an apartment or houses that are built really close together and you get things like roaches and water bugs and things like that most people will sprinkle it you know in the corners and in cabinets you know at the edges of cabinets and things like that at the back um, and it does help with the same thing so what is diatomaceous earth? Diatomaceous earth is pretty much a composition of ground up seashells. It's ground up really fine to the point that it's powder form. It feels almost like baby powder. It's really, really fine. It is the equivalent of um, us and let's say things like uh, fiberglass, you know, the little, um, little pricklies you get from touching insulation or tiny 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 shards of broken glass how it works is when you have insects like beetles and um, roly polies you know things that have outer shells we have skeletons inside of our body they have what's called an exoskeleton so that is the shells that the hard part that's on the outside of their bodies when you dust your plants and sprinkle this around the edges of your beds and things like that, they crawl through this stuff and it gets under that shell that they have. Like I said, it's the equivalent of us climbing through or crawling through little, little tiny pieces of fiberglass or broken glass. This stuff gets under that exoskeleton and it makes little cuts in this, this and that and it dries them out it's not an instant thing you're not going to come out here and dust your whole garden and then tomorrow you're going to come out and find all these little dead bugs everywhere it doesn't work that way it takes a little bit of time it actually dehydrates them it dries them out after a while you'll start seeing all these little dried up bugs here and there but like i said it is not an instant thing this is usually my first defense i don't like spraying neem oil I don't do pesticides, you know, chemical pesticides and things like that. So I do, I will try insecticidal soap. I do pick everything off from hand that is possible. Even the roly polies, I'm grabbing them up by the handfuls and stepping on them. Um, 
but diatomaceous earth actually helps maintain all of those things, including the cabbage worms, cabbage worms, cut worms, things like that. They do the same thing. They crawl through this stuff and it cuts them up. It does not hurt earthworms. It will not affect most of your good, your beneficial insects are usually safe with this. My thing is I try not to dust blooms. I don't want it down in there where I, you know, the bees are coming in to pollinate and things like that. I try to get it, you know, in the corners of my beds, on the leafy greens, on the leaf part, but I try to stay away from the blooms. Now, when using this, some people like to put mask on, which I will too. Um, it's not that it's harmful, but it's no different than inhaling dust or smoke into your lungs. And most of us don't want to do that. So I try to stay away, um, stay downwind when I'm using it. Cause like I said, it's like a fine powder. And when you start using it, it kind of goes up in puffs of smoke. Um, so try to stay downwind from it. If you have a dust mask, put a dust mask on. All those leftover masks you have from the pandemic, put them to use. If you don't have that, put a bandana, an old t-shirt, something around your face. Like I said, it's not toxic, but it's just like I said, it's the equivalent of breathing in dust and smoke and things like that. It's not something that you want filling your lungs. You know, we try to keep just clean air in our lungs. All right. So this does come with a duster. Some people like using just little measuring cups or little cups, containers, whatever they have and just dusting it around. Personally, I like the duster because I'm an aesthetics person. I don't like seeing big chunks of dust on everything. So I like the duster. I like the mist that it puts out. It does, you can, you know, put it at a certain um, angle and it will shoot out a heavier stream. Um, turn it to a different angle and you'll get those puffs of smoke that will coat all of your leaves with a fine dust. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fill it, how to use it, and what it looks like when you're dusting your plants. So I'm going to use it here on these collards. And this is the duster I was telling you guys about. Do you see that? Nothing complicated. It unscrews. You simply dip it into the bag. And you're gonna come up with some of the stuff in there. I'm not gonna get a lot because like I said, I did dust yesterday. screw it back on and I'm gonna put my mask on which I should have done before I put this stuff all over my hands <laughs> all right and hopefully you guys can still hear me this side is actually up. I know a lot of times we think wherever the device is that that's the upside, but it's not. This side is up. So it works like an accordion. You just squeeze down and it shoots out a stream. Like I said, it will do, if you do it this way, you're gonna get that real heavy mist. If you do it this way, you'll get a finer mist. Hopefully you guys can see all of that dust which is why I did it over here. Hopefully that sunlight is showing you all of that fine mist that you're gonna see everywhere, which is really funny. I didn't even realize there's webs all on here until I just put this on here now. And that is pretty much it. But like I said, your garden now is going to be covered in this white dust. It only works as long as it's dry. Once water hits this, you have to reapply. It's no longer good anymore. So 
anytime you're watering after you've dust make sure that you're not watering the leaves watering overhead you're going to have to actually water the soil at the base of the plants i'll give you guys a close-up as to what this looks like now so as you can see all the leaves now have this powdery substance all over them like i said this is all pretty much just ground up sea fossils and like i said before i didn't even realize there was tiny webs all the way around here until i hit them with this dust now i can see all of this webbing that's on here but when you do this you make sure you coat the underside of the leaf and the top side of the leaf because if you've ever had to deal with cabbage worms and anything like that, you know that they are infamous for hiding underneath the leaf or right here in the spine on the other side where it's a little harder to see them. All right, so where can you find diatomaceous earth? Everywhere. <laughs> it's one of those things that you never paid any attention to until you actually needed it. You can buy this online stores you can buy it on amazon you can buy it at walmart you can buy it at home depot lowe's everybody has diatomaceous earth so it's like i said it's one of those things that you didn't know you needed you didn't pay any attention to it and then now you need it and you wonder where you can get it from so you can order like i said through amazon or you can just go to your local uh, home depot lowe's or whatever um, walmart everybody has it it's usually about this size is about $9.99 a bag, just depending on where you live. Um, I bought this bag maybe two years ago now. I think it's probably going on two years. I bought two bags at one time. Um, they last pretty long because like I said, you pretty much don't use it that much. I use it in the spring and I use it in the summertime. I don't need it for fall gardening or winter gardening because insects are not really a problem during that time but these bags will last you quite a long time if you're a homesteader and you've got you know our large 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 garden where you grow a lot of food you might need a bigger bag or even two bags but this one lasts me for my size garden for like i said it's going on a couple of years now so all right guys diatomaceous earth de this is the scoop on it and uh, if you guys are an organic gardener, you want to try to you know, um, not kill everything, try DE first, give it some time to work, try insecticidal soaps, and uh, you know, organic is always the way to go, especially if you're feeding your family. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you're using DE or you're gonna go out and get you some now. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I am not affiliated with DE in any way, shape or form. They did not pay me to do this. This is just something that I use and I wanted to share it with you guys. All right, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who could use this, share it with them. If you haven't joined the family already, just hit that subscribe button. It is free. It will not cost you anything. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to say hi down below. And to those of you who hit me up from South Carolina, from Georgia, from Florida, hey back at you guys. <laughs> you guys stay blessed.